Hello everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. I'm excited to bring this recipe to you for tuna pineapple bites. It's an hors d'oeuvre or appetizer. And if you like tuna, you're going to love these. It's quick and easy to make, made with a few simple ingredients. And you can use your favorite crackers to serve them on. Alright, so let's get right to the recipe. Start with a medium sized bowl and place two tablespoons of cream cheese in it. The cream cheese should be slightly softened, so just let it sit at room temperature for a couple minutes before starting. Then I use two tablespoons of Miracle Whip. It's an alternative to mayonnaise, but if it's mayonnaise that you have available, you could use that. Next, you'll need one can of solid white tuna, and it's somewhere between six ounces or 120 grams. Then drain the juice off of it, and add the tuna to the bowl. And using your fork, you can break that apart a little bit. Next, we'll add about two tablespoons of chopped pecans. This really adds a nice little crunch to it. Then take your fork and mix this in until it's all really well combined. At this point, do a taste test. And if you need to add a little bit more of the Miracle Whip, that's a good time to do it. I added about another teaspoon. You don't want this to be too wet. You do want it to be on the dry side because it's going on crackers and you want it to be firm enough to hold its shape. All right, so the rest speaks for itself. You just simply place it on your favorite crackers. Then you decorate the tops with some pineapple chunks or tidbits. The pineapple on top makes it refreshingly sweet. And even though a bit of a contrast, it really complements the flavors. I finish it off with a little bit more of a sprinkle of chopped pecans. Because I like the crunch and the flavor that the pecans give to it. I served mine on smaller crackers. This way you get all the flavors in one bite. I hope you enjoy today's recipe, and I hope you make and enjoy it. And thank you so much for supporting this channel, and I'll see you next time.